I started my career in the large engine industry, where the most common structural failure mode was interference between an operating frequency of the engine and one of the natural frequencies of the part I was designing. Our goal was always to push the natural frequencies of the parts we designed well above the operating frequencies of the engine. In most cases, a frequency analysis would provide us with the answers we need. However, because one of our key design criteria was size envelope, we often faced situations where parts were stacked on top of each other, forcing us to take the additional weight into account for any frequency study, leaving me with a study full of geometry I wasn't interested in. To avoid unnecessarily long solve times and alleviate the necessity for accurate geometry for parts I wasn't really interested in including in my study, we're going to replace those parts with a remote load. In this example, I have an engine on a test stand and I need to ensure the mounting base for the motor doesn't have an interference between the operating frequency of the engine and one of the natural frequencies of the base. In this study, I've already constrained the mounting feet of the base. We're going to assume the supporting structure between the base and the engine is rigid, and since they don't contribute significantly to the weight acting on the base compared to the engine, we'll leave them out. To convert the engine geometry to a remote load, I'm going to right-click on the part in the Parts folder of the study and select Treat as Remote Mass. In the subsequent dialog, we're going to select the faces of the base the mass of the engine will act on, and click the green check mark. That's it. We're ready to run our study. It's important to note this function can be used in a stress study the same way and is exceptionally useful when we have to run multiple iterations of the same study. In engine applications, for example, especially in the marine industry, it's important to validate the design at the extreme angles the engine is expected to operate under due to the pitch and yaw of the vessel or vehicle that is powering. Rather than reorient the entire model, we can simply change the direction gravity is acting. Validation tasks are a necessary step to ensure the quality of your designs. Efficiency tools like the remote mass functionality with Insight SolidWorks Simulation lets you complete those tasks quickly, allowing you to get to the next project as fast as possible. If your team struggles with lengthy validation processes, or you'd like to explore how simulation tools like SolidWorks Simulation can help you identify design defects early in your design process, reach out to your local MLC CAD systems representative today. And, as always, thanks for watching.